Well, hello everybody and welcome back to another video of showing you some awesome weapons that I've discovered and just tinkering around. I found this incredibly fun and cool build that uses two-handed maces. Now, this build comprises of both a long-range two-handed mace and a short-range speed two-handed mace. Now, this is really good for heavy armored targets that don't take a lot of damage from slashing, so this may actually be even a better build than my prior one. So without further ado, let me introduce you to my first build, the big boy. This is a long reach two-handed club with the tier 2 hammerhead at 100%, the tier 5 hardened oaken two-handed axe handle at 100%, and the tier 3 mushroom handle at 0%. This gives you a reach of 140, a swing speed of 72, and a swing blunt damage of 85. A pretty decent handling, not the best. Now, don't let this 85 blunt damage fool you because most armors don't absorb blunt damage well. So this hammer is absurdly powerful. It is capable of crushing skulls and also, it can swing to multiple units. Now, I will note, it is not as clean as the two-handed axe as far as cleave goes. I feel like it's a little hard to land things. But then again, I am just learning how to use this weapon. So as I learn its hitbox better, it may actually be on par or superior to the two-handed axe. And then let me show you, th this is called Thunderstrike, or I'm calling it Thunderstrike. It is a fast, close-range, two-handed club with a 100 swing speed. So let me show you how to build this bad boy. You're going to do a tier 4 heavy horseman's mace head at 0%. This gets you to that 100 swing speed. Then you're going to do a tier 4 iron reinforced two-handed mace handle at 0%. Now the reason I did this, I could use the tier 3 iron top two-handed mace handle here for an extra 4 swing speed, but I only do 59 damage, and that 6 damage is worth it to me for the swing speed. I will note, however, if you do want swing speed over damage, I would go with the tier 3 at 0%, but for me, I think it's a good trade-off because 100 swing speed is still really good. Now, I played around with a bunch of pommels and I actually found out that the flat pommel is the best. A uh, flat pommel at 0%. Otherwise, you get a swing speed of 99 and 63 blunt damage. The higher tier pommels at 0% actually decrease the awesomeness of this. What you have here is an awesome, awesome build. So if I get knocked off my horse, I have a close range two-handed club that can cleave through any armored unit. And I got my little Donkey Kong hammer on my back. Now on horseback, I always use the Noble Bow. And when I'm sieging a castle, I use the noble longbow. Let me now show you video of siege combat with this build. I've actually found that these two items complement each other in sieges and on ground. Because if you're behind a bunch of troops, you can pull out your Donkey Kong hammer, overhead swing into the crowd of enemies. It's, it's pretty brutal. 